an IIF file, how can I see what's happening in there before importing it into QuickBooks Desktop? So this is a, this is a cool thing. IIF stands for Intuit Interchange File, and it's a file extension. You can just like double click it and open it like it's a Word document. Most people think that the only way to view what's inside is to import it into QuickBooks and then take a look at what was just imported. And yeah, there's a way to, to do that. I mean, you can open up the audit trail and put on some filters and, and such, but my gosh, I mean, what if you didn't want that stuff in there? You have to make a backup of the QuickBooks file first then import it, decide whether you like it or not. If you like it, it's fine. But if not, you have to roll back and import, uh, re, uh, restore the QuickBooks backup. Maybe you just want to have a look. Maybe you want to import everything but a couple of items. So here is a little known trick that you can use. You can open up the file as a text file. So you can either open up your text editor and browse to it um, like Notepad. You can right click the IIF file and open um, in your Notepad. Or you can double click it and when you're prompted, hey, what application should I use to open this? You can choose Notepad. That third one is my preferred way. It just seems easier to me. Now, when you're looking at it, it may not make any more sense than, um, than it already did. However, you can maximize it, move your way through it. And this is what I would recommend if you think you might make changes to it. Maximize it, move your way through it, and if you want to make any changes or deletions, you can do so. However, if you think you're going to look but not touch, but just, all right, I just want to see what this is before I go importing it. Like, I think I already imported it and I don't want to import it again. You open it in the text editor, such as Notepad. Control A highlights all or selects all. Control C copies. Open up Excel and paste. And you will see, finally, in an orderly format, all the information that was in the IIF file. And you can look over and go, oh, yeah, this is great. I really do need to import these. You import the IIF and disregard the Notepad file and disregard the Excel file. If you open it up in Notepad, copy and paste it into Excel, everything goes into its proper cells and you can really make sense of it because everything is aligned. You go, oh my God, I already imported these transactions. It's a good thing that I'm not about to do this again because this takes a lot less time than, let's say, making a backup or storing the backup, you know, having the panic moment. This is especially a good technique if you're in multi-user mode because what if there are like people wanting to make changes to the file in the middle of you doing this? Like, no, we want to roll back. I just imported 500 transactions that, um, you know, that now I have to delete, but now someone else has been using the file and making changes. What a mess. Just open it up in text, copy it into Excel first, and then see if you want to import the IIF or not. So that's my answer. I should really call this, this shouldn't be like Q&A, this would be like, how to reduce your monthly and asset expenditures if you're an accountant. We have a question that comes in from Nicole. Do you think QuickBooks desktop will go away? I've heard through my industry that QuickBooks Desktop isn't as supported anymore, or is it just them trying to not spend as much money to support both systems? Um, Intuit is definitely working hard to phase out QuickBooks Desktop. So I believe that at some point it will go away. I think that will be a shame because at the present time, QuickBooks Desktop offers some features which I find exceptionally useful for certain clients in certain industries, certain life cycle stages, certain goals, um, to work exceptionally well where QuickBooks Online, even uh, with or without apps, falls down. However, my hope is that at some point in the future when QuickBooks Desktop is phased out, QuickBooks Online has by then sorted out all of its bugs and it has all the functionality that you could ever ask for between QBO or QBO plus third-party apps. Um, of course, QuickBooks isn't the only option out there. There's also Xero and some other packages. But that being said, I do believe that QuickBooks desktop is being phased out. And we're seeing evidence of that. I would say the three, three or four strongest pieces of evidence. Number one, QuickBooks for Mac is already phased out. Number two, 
The third-party integrations available with QuickBooks Desktop, those are being phased out from Intuit's point of view. In fact, there were three ways that you used to be able to connect an outside thing to QuickBooks Desktop file. One of those three ways is not available anymore. So that's another piece of evidence that they're phasing out QuickBooks Desktop. Um, one more piece of evidence is that the QuickBooks Desktop ProAdvisor certification is being phased out. In fact, it, the deadline may have already passed. It may be already phased out. So it is near death, if not already dead, the QuickBooks Desktop certification. And fourth and finally, every Intuit event that you see, all the marketing, all the events, it's all about QuickBooks Online. Clearly, they're pouring resources into QuickBooks Online like crazy. So my answer to you in summary is yes, I believe it will go away. And for me, that will be a very sad day unless they have figured out how to make QuickBooks Online um, pick up the slack, which as of yet, they have not.